And Russia is tightening its grip on personal freedoms once again. And this time the target is those who choose not to have children. A new bill proposes harsh penalties on what Vladimir Putin's government calls child-free propaganda. Individuals who promote or defend the decision not to have children could face fines of over $4,000. For government officials, that number jumps to nearly $9,000. And for companies, the punishment can soar to more than $50,000. However, only those with religious health or traumatic ex exemptions like rape survivors can opt out of having children. The Kremlin is pushing this legislation as part of a wider plan to reverse Russia's shrinking population. And with the births of, at their lowest since the collapse of the Soviet Union, Putin is urging his government to make large families fashionable once again. Recently, Putin advocated families to have at least seven to 10 children and officials rolled out new policies to help meet that goal. One such policy is to encourage working women to start new families by partaking in conjugal breaks during office hours. The latest bill also seeks to limit birth control. Now abortions would only be allowed in state-run clinics. However, at least 10 states have already banned abortion. The bill would even restrict access to cases involving severe health risk, incest, or rape, with the cutoff for abortion being reduced to nine weeks instead of the current 12. So as Russia goes all out to reverse its dwindling population, the Kremlin has issued a clear message, procreate or pay up. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.